Hi, this is Wikipedia in Residence, Max Klein. And I'm going to talk to you a bit today about the structure of Wikipedia. There's a fabled story about the designers of the graphical user interface working at Park Xerox having to explain their ideas to paper executives and thus coming up with the idea, and thus using the analogy of the, of the desktop paradigm where we have pages and paper on our desktops. So in a likewise and similar fashion, I'm going to explain to you a bit about how Wikipedia works using paper. If you were to imagine Wikipedia as a single sheet of paper, or at least an article as a single sheet of paper, you'd have something like this. Uh, you'd have the article. Uh, and of course, um, articles do change over time because we know that Wikipedia is editable. And because that's a bit difficult, we have something called the talk page. Uh, the talk page is the meta page where all the discussion happens. Um, and so we do edit the article over time and talk about it. Um, but Wikipedia has this theory that everything should be, the re complete revision history should be stored. So we, of course, have pages that are attached to the article that are known as the article history, and they become older and older. Uh, and in fact, they become so old that, in fact, we store the complete thing, and you could go all the way back to the original version of the page. Uh, likewise, the talk pages change over time as people discuss things, and so we also have their reversion history. So we get the older ones, and we also always go back to the oldest version of the talk page on it that's attached to any given article page. Please keep in mind that Wikipedia is completely editable, and so if you find any mistakes, you should be in the mindset of adjusting them and correcting them.